Western logic, informal fallacies, fallacies of presumption and fallacies of ambiguity. Fallacies of presumption. Fallacies of presumption occur when too much is assumed in the premises of an argument. As a result, the conclusion of the premises results primarily on the pre-assumed or the unwarranted assumptions or presumptions. There are three kinds of such fallacies. Number one, fallacy of accident. Number two, fallacy of complex question. Number three, fallacy of begging the question. Number one, fallacy of accident. Accident is a type of fallacies of presumption. These fallacies occur when we presume too much in the premises. Accident as a fallacy can be explained as when we apply the generalization to particular instances. We think what is true for the whole is also true for the parts. For example, people of Northeast India like momos, therefore my friend from Northeast India must definitely like momos. Hence, in this fallacy, we move from generalizations to a particular instance. Similar example would be, killing is wrong, mercy killing is a type of killing, therefore mercy killing is wrong. In other words, the general rule is misapplied to the specific or the particular individual case. In this fallacy, it is important to note that it is the opposite of hasty generalization where we move from particulars to generalizations. As a result, Hasty generalization is also called fallacy of converse accident. Number two, fallacy of complex question. Complex question is a fallacy where a question is asked in such a way as it presupposes the truth of some proposition buried within the question. For example, have you stopped beating your children? Or have you stopped cheating in the tests? Or have you stopped shoplifting now? Or have you stopped cheating on your wife? Number three, fallacy of begging the question. The circular argument fallacy is called the fallacy of begging the question. It is also known as pesticio principi. It occurs when the conclusion is already stated or is present in one of the premises. It could be major premise or minor premise. In other words, it occurs when we argue in circles. For example, men are better drivers than women because men have better controls of the cars than women on roads. Here, the conclusion, men have better controls of cars on road than women is already stated in the premise, men are better drivers than women. A better driver is one who obviously will have better controls on the car on the roads. Hence, the argument is circular in nature. This fallacy is technically valid but always worthless. Nothing new ever comes out of it. Similar example would be, the soul is immortal, the soul never dies, therefore the soul goes on to live forever. Fallacies of ambiguity Fallacies of ambiguity occur due to equivocal, that is more than one interpretation or use of words or phrases in the argument. In other words, they occur when there are different meanings possible of the words or the phrases used in the argument. They are primarily categorized under five heads. Number one, fallacy of equivocation. Number two, fallacy of amphiboly. Number three, fallacy of accent. Number four, fallacy of composition. Number five, fallacy of division. Number one, Fallacy of Equivocation Equivocation is one of the first fallacies of ambiguity. It is a fallacy where two or more than two meanings of the same words are used in an argument or when there is a change in the meaning of the same word which happens to be used in both the premise and the conclusion. For example, A. Who did you meet on the road? B. Nobody. A. Okay. So did nobody say hi to you? Here the word nobody has two meanings. Nobody as in nobody or nobody as in a name. 
Similar example would be, all trees have barks. Dogs also have bark. Therefore, all dogs are trees. Number 2. Fallacy of Amphiboly Amphiboly is also a fallacy of ambiguity where words are used in a manner which leads to alternative possible meanings of the statement. For example, if you take the motor out from the car, I'll sell it to you very cheap. Here, it could be the motor or it could be the car. Similar example would be, she watched the monkey eating a banana. Here, who is eating the banana, the monkey or the girl? Hence, under the fallacy of amphiboly, the words are combined in an awkward, loose manner which leads to alternative possible meanings of the statement. Number 3. The fallacy of accent. Accent is an informal fallacy of ambiguity where a word has one meaning in the conclusion and a different meaning in the premise. The difference arises due to change in the emphasis given to the words used. For example, we should not speak ill of our friends. Here, when we put emphasis on word friends, it appears as such that we should not speak ill of our friends only. Number 4. Fallacy of Composition Composition is an informal fallacy of ambiguity where we think that because something holds true of a group of things taken individually, it must also hold true of the same things taken collectively or as a group. For example, Ram Sham and Mohan are the best singers in my society. Therefore, it holds true that all these three together would really make a good band. Similar example would be, A is a part of B, B has property X, therefore A has property X. Number 5. The fallacy of division. The opposite of composition fallacy is division. In division, we think that because something holds true of a thing taken as a group or taken collectively, it must also hold true when the thing are taken individually. For example, Stars is the name of the best band in my society. The singers of the band are Ram, Sham and Mohan. Therefore, all these three boys taken individually are the best singers in my society. Similar example would be, each brick in the building weighs less than a pound. Therefore, the building weighs less than a pound. Questions Number 1. Fallacy of accident, fallacy of complex question and fallacy of begging the question belong to the correct answer is fallacies of presumption. Question 2. Fallacy of equivocation, amphiboly, accent, composition and division belong to the correct answer is fallacies of ambiguity. Question 3. Have you stopped shoplifting now? is an example of the correct answer is fallacy of complex question. Question 4. A is a part of B. B has property X. Therefore, A has property X. This commits the fallacy of the correct answer is fallacy of composition.